See trouble. I was the one who buried the late CBN staff and his wife. And I will also bury his first son. Brother lament. <laughs> My people, Nigeria and all the magumago things where they happen for this world. Huh? Nothing Nigerians know if do. All in the name of uh, 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 let it be, let it belong to me. You understand? Let it belong to me. It is only in Nigeria that I see that um, brothers uh, go after brothers. Brother fights his own brother. Brother kills his own brother. All because of one thing or the other. Uh, this is crazy. Anyway, if of a truth that this is what really happened. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever it is, no matter what uh, may have happened, it shouldn't have been so. It shouldn't have been so. Why did he do that? It is wrong. This very young man has come out to say it publicly without fear or favor that anyone can come and get him arrested, that he was the one who killed the late CBN staff and his wife and his brother. <laughs> This is wrong. Let's check the content, my dear listeners. This is Morning News. The younger brother of the late CBN staff, Kennedy Fatinoye, has made some shocking revelation about their family following the gruesome death of his elder brother on the New Year Day. Recall that Fatinoye and his wife was drilled to the house after the New Year crossover service by their assassins and they were burned to death. Why their house was also set on fire? Before the assassins went away with their son and maid. However, the younger brother of the deceased Kennedy Fatinoye, while speaking in an exclusive interview with the Punch newspaper, noted that there is no one left in their family because their father and mother had died a long time ago. And his brother and him we are the only surviving f family member. He further, he further noted that ever since they lost their parents, the elder brother has been the breadwinner of their lives. He was the one who caters for everything. In fact, he was the one who was also sponsoring his own children to school. But unfortunately for him, the assailant has taken away everything that he has. While speaking soberly about the recovery of the first son of the CBN staff who was found floating on a river in Oko State after his hands were tied to the back and thrown into the river, the deceased brother said that it was the same person who buried the second son of the late CBN staff after slumped and died during a football match in school. He also revealed that the assassins made him to bury his late brother and his wife on Wednesday and now they are making him to bury the first son of the deceased. Hmm. Okay. It's not that he, he was the one who actually killed them. Okay. Well, um, the young man was trying to say that they killed his brother and made him to bury him. It was a very sad story. A very sad, sad story. Can you imagine? Someone taking food away from your mouth. Taking food away from your mouth is a very bad thing. You know? People don't like good things. They don't like good things. They don't like seeing people, you know, progressing. They don't like seeing people doing good. When they see that you are doing well, they will, you know, boycott you and cut you off. It's a very sad story. So sorry, my young man. It's one of those things. But then, you just need to, you know, gather the pieces of your sadness and forge ahead. Because that is the only way out. You will not continue to sober. It's very painful anyway. Um, my people, you've had it already from this very man. It's a very painful incident. 
this is what we experience in Nigeria and um, it's happening we don't pray that it happens again let's quickly uh, start throwing in our opinion and um, and uh, what we think that should happen on this very matter it's a very critical one to say don't forget your comments they are still very much of great importance don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you